Now this year, as always, CES will allow participants to see cutting edge tech and the latest product launches. It's also going to enable attendees to engage with global brands and startups from around the world without leaving your home or office. Many of us are no strangers to the CES Expo Hall, and while this year our feet will get a break, with the shift to an all-digital platform, we're able to connect with both our existing audiences as well as new faces from around the world. So for those experiencing CES for the first time, we just want to welcome you. Uh, pro tip here for you uh, watching at home, uh, you know, we love that you're tuned in and we love that you're trying to capture everything you can all at once, but uh, if you can't get it all, video on demand, transcripts, and other resources will all be available after each of the conferences, so no worries if you can't be in two places at once. And of course, remember, come on back to the stream when the conference ends, because we'll be able to help you guys navigate your way throughout and all of the next couple of days. We have so much content coming up. We're also gonna be sharing this desk with Naomi Cal and Brian Tong, who will be taking over later today and throughout the rest of the event. They are two fantastic people and everything is highly sanitized between shifts, so yes. we are excited about that. Uh, this is CES 2021, thanks for watching. Dear friend, in 2016, Kevin Kelly predicted that in the future, every surface could be made into screen, and we would all become people of the screen. When I heard this sentence, I knew that the shift must be inevitable. Yet, I also thought that it was still very remote. However, 2020, burdened by the pandemic, has changed that perspective. The evidence of that is in the fact that you and I meet across the screen today and experience the first online CS in history. We are bearing witness of each other become the people of the screen, Kevin Kelly predicted. Beyond television, laser display technology will change the way of display and create entirely new scenarios. Laser display is a technology with a potential for stereoscopic display, starting from AR VR, vehicle mounted display, and other fields. We will break through the flat display, move forward spatial stereoscopic display and eventually realize a three-dimensional holographic display. At LG, we will never stop innovating to bring you more convenience, 
more entertainment, and more ways to keep you safe so that you can live your lives to the fullest, whatever changes may come. And we're making caring for your health more convenient with our new line of portable solutions, like our new category of wearable air purifier technology, designed to deliver convenient personal protection, portability, and peace of mind wherever you go. Life at home has changed over the last year, and television usage has increased dramatically. We're watching more live TV, streaming more, and gaming more. In light of these trends, providing an unparalleled entertainment experience is even more relevant, and nothing does this better than an LG OLED TV, the OLED EVO, which features our most advanced panel and processor. After OLED TVs were introduced, the first evolution occurred when 4K OLED HDR was launched, providing a new level of realism. Now, OLED EVO, found in our new G1 Gallery Series, builds upon that, bringing a new luminous element that offers high brightness, punchy images with high clarity, detail, and realism. The new TV lineup, which includes an 83-inch screen size, will also be equipped with the Alpha 9 Gen 4 AI Intelligent Processor, with powerful upscaling using deep learning, it makes all content look better. It also includes AI Picture Pro, which can detect objects and backgrounds within scenes, process each separately for clearer text and better image rendering. It can also optimize picture quality by automatically detecting content genre, scene conditions, and ambient lighting conditions. QNED with mini LED backlights will be available in both 4K and 8K series in screen sizes ranging from 65 to 86 inches. At Bosch, using technology to improve people's lives is at the core of our strategic imperative invented for life. While climate action costs money, doing nothing will cost even more. Ladies and gentlemen, 18 months ago, we announced our intentions to make all Bosch locations carbon neutral by the end of 2020. And we kept our promise and were the first global industrial enterprise to have achieved this. 
We want to harness the potential of artificial intelligence to improve people's lives. And to achieve this aim, we have created an AI code of ethics for our development and application of AI, especially in cases of doubt and dilemma. Ultimately, though, we will only be able to tap the full potential if we can convince people of the benefits of AI and, above all, build trust in this technology. In recent months, this has meant a focus on developing and producing technological solutions for the fight against the virus. Bosch is investing heavily in promising technologies in our workforce and in our operations. We're doing this to ensure our competitiveness in a world where climate change and the global pandemic are accelerating transformation and change. Our investments underscore the deep commitment we have to our role in creating a sustainable world for future generations, as well as our commitment to the future of our business. And, in fact, we see no conflict between these. In our view, sustainability and profitability are two sides of the same coin. Health is about more than just treating and preventing disease. With this in mind, we are premiering a new AI-enabled sensor for devices that many of us use to stay in optimum form, wearable fitness trackers. Bosch Sensor Tech has developed an evolutionary and revolutionary self-learning motion sensor that adds artificial intelligence to portable devices. Among other things, it enables them to recognize and record any type of fitness activity that is based on repetitive cyclical patterns. And thanks to the use of HAI, where AI runs on the sensor itself, not only latency and power consumption are minimized, but user data remains fully private since it doesn't need a cloud connection or tethered smartphone to work. By 2030, our goal is to reduce these emissions along our entire value chain by 15%. This is not a number we came up with on our own. We agreed to this goal with the Science-Based Targets Initiative an international partnership set up to facilitate swift climate action in the private sector. In particular, we're focusing on powerful vehicle computers, which will take over from the multitude of individual control units used today. Our goal is to get new vehicle functions on the road significantly faster in the future, make cars more intelligent, and provide drivers with tangible benefits. But what if that home and those technologies in it were actually built around you? At Samsung, we're always finding ways to do just that. It's that inspiration and our focus on you that led us to our fridge lineup called Bespoke. We started with a simple idea to give you the ability to change the color and type of your fridge, custom fit to your lifestyle. Now, we're expanding on that inspiration to bring Bespoke to the US for the first time. Come and see.
but it's been a year like no other because of the way in which we have collectively taken on those challenges with resilience, spirit, and an astonishing capacity to adapt. And while it's impressive, it's not surprising because adaptability has always been a core principle at Panasonic. We are constantly moving forward, turning extenuating circumstances into extraordinary opportunities, as we have done for more than 100 years. We believe that the potential for innovation is everywhere. It's in partnerships. It's in the energy of emerging cultural moments. It's in the ever-changing world environment and in the needs of humanity. It's that belief that continues to move us forward to create technologies that result in a better life and a better world for our customers. Well, I think the year was in a way tragic. You know, we've seen, um, we've seen the world struggling with the pandemic. Um, we've seen people lose their loved ones, uh, pressure on their work, pressure on their daily lives. And I think we've also seen the best. We've seen people coming together. We've seen tremendous innovation actually being used at scale. So um, I'm also hopeful that it will change the healthcare systems for the better. And I'm hopeful that it will bring people closer together. We've started to create these pilots of virtual access stations, which really are able to take uh, familiar community settings. It could be in a retail environment where you bring together a consumer or a patient with access to a virtual connection to a care provider. Mm. Uh, these are HIPAA compliant. These are typically sort of using an existing network of providers as well as insurance uh, uh, companies. Uh, and this is something that is very easy to scale. So we're excited to see that go. Yeah. And as an innovation company that's an innovator both in consumer health and professional health, our commitment is to be part of the journey and enabling that upliftment of the standard of care for consumers. Our brand positioning, pioneering in big screen AIoT, reflects what I was goal of bringing not only the most advanced audiovisual technology to consumers around the world, but also top-notch AOT ecosystem, technology, operating systems, and the products to the global market. Dolby Vision IQ automatically solves those problems. Leveraging the unique dynamic metadata found in Dolby Vision content and the ambient light sensor inside the TV, Dolby Vision IQ understands how bright or dark the room is to intelligently display every detail of what you are watching to create a perfect picture in your room at every moment. Canon is very proud to be here amongst the world's greatest leaders in innovation and is excited to work together, collaborate and innovate to solve the global challenges faced in order to come out of this pandemic together. Now, perhaps more than ever, technology and innovation could not be more important. This is a time when inspiration and what you'll see at CES this year is critical.
We are making people's lives easier by giving them a full category connected devices that enable them to interact in a real time with their gadgets and communicate with their friends. Simply put, we want people to experience more. Display greatness is at the core of our philosophy of everything we are doing. TCL is widely known for its award-winning television and panel manufacturing expertise. So we put a special focus on delivering flagship quality display technologies to our customers in an impressive array of affordable mobile products. We look at our mobile devices every day for an average of seven hours, so our viewing experience should be the best quality possible. We at TCL are taking our vision seriously, to display greatness in all we do. Everybody is spending more and more time every day watching at displays, and it's our mission to bring in an outstanding and safe visual experience to each of our products. The MBUX hyperscreen reinvents how we interact with the car. It's stunning on the outside, super intelligent on the inside. It's a nerve center that connects everyone in the car with the world inside and outside.